Hey guys, so this is my video on G harmonic minor. If you want to learn about G melodic minor or G major, I'll have um, playlists at the end of this video for you to click. And if you're new to my scale videos, I'll give you a quick tour of my max patch here that I made. So here I have a keyboard and when I click a note on it, you'll hear it. You'll see uh, down here there are two staves. On the left it'll show all the notes that are either natural or sharp. On the right there it'll show all the notes that are either, either natural or flat. Uh, I could only get it to show either one or the other, not both, so that's why there's two. And it'll, the note will also show up as an X on the violin finger chart. And a little uh, sort of explainer of what all harmonic uh, minor scales are about is they're basically the same pattern as a natural minor. The only difference is that we raise the seventh scale degree. Now, if you if you've already watched the melodic. A G melodic minor video, you know that in melodic we write, re raise both the sixth and seventh going up, then lower them coming back down. Harmonic is different, it's only the seventh scale degree, and we keep it raised both going up and coming back down. So it's a bit more simple that way and easier for our ears to get used to, I find. So, uh, for our first octave, we uh, start with our open string G of course and one uh, the other thing is I call out finger numbers uh, instead of letters since we have the letters on the chart uh, so one low two it's very important to get that B flat in uh, three fourth finger or open string D low one. Uh, it's very important to get that E flat in. Now here's where we raise the seventh scale degree to get that F sharp. And now here is I find the tricky part because you're both extending your first finger backwards and uh, extending your second finger up. And it's very common to get those notes out of tune because it's such a stretch for your hand. Um, if anything, it is better if you uh, overshoot it and get the E flat too flat and the F sharp too sharp. That uh, If you do that, it's better than the other way around. And then you end the scale uh, with three. So that is your first octave. and. Uh, just like in major, if you only want to do one octave, you just go back down the same way you came and then you're done. Uh, if you want to do two octaves, you keep going. So fourth finger or open string A. Low one again. Uh, now this is just the normal low two, not a high two like before, so it's a bit different. Three low four. So if you were getting away with open strings, now you can't. It has to be a low four. A normal one. And a low two. So that's uh, two octaves. Now if you're going to do three octaves, <coughs> excuse me, uh, just like all the other scales, uh, you go up slightly differently. Uh, so if we go back to our first octave, uh, we start our second same way. Fourth finger or, or open string A. A low one. Low two. Now after that, we shift up. So now we're playing with our first finger on that D low second finger, so these are two are very close. Oops. 
I need to change settings. There we go. Now that's a high three. And that four is close to that three. And now if we keep going, uh, one on the E string, uh, low two. Now after the one, two, we shift up again, just like in our major scale. Uh, one. And uh, two, oops, there we go. Uh, three, that's your four on the F sharp. And then just one more, just like in the major scale, you just extend that fourth finger in order to get that last note. Now for coming back down, uh, you can either, there's two ways to come back down, just like in the major scale. Um, I'll start with uh, the way I do it, then I'll show you the alternative fingering for it. So I'll reset this. We start off with four. Uh, and then we bring that fourth finger down for the F sharp. Oops, not that note. Three. <laughs> Uh, two, one. Now we do one big shift all the way back down to first position. So that's a low four, three, low two. And now we're back, since we're back in first position, then we just come back, um, same way. Uh, in first position, just like in our major scale. So that's my way of coming down on the E string. The alternative way with more shifts, uh, four, three, I mean, four, four. Ah, flaps, okay. Four, four, three, <laughs> four, two, one. Two, one. So four, four, three, two, one, two, one. So now we're in third position. Now go to the A string. Uh, so that's your fourth finger on A. Uh, high three, low two, one, and then shift back down to first position. Oops, change my settings here. It's that one. Low one. Uh, fourth finger or open string A. And uh, third finger. So that's how you, that's the alternative way of coming back down. Uh, so, basically just come back down normally on the E, then do an extra two one in order to get back into third position on the E string, then play down in third position on A, then shift back down again on A um, to get back into first position. So again, it, the fingerings are the same as your G major scale, it's just uh, where you reach your fingers, if they're pulled back down more, or if they're uh, a bit higher for sharp, that's different. So uh, if you think about it, when you shift and uh, when you put your fingers down, they are the same though. So two ways, either just one big shift down into first position on the E string, or uh, one little shift on the E, then another little shift on the A. Either is fine, it's just a personal preference. So, uh, I'll have playlists that you can click here for if you wanna 
uh, learn for all the major scales or the melodic scales or more harmonic minor scales. And if you like this video, do what other, other YouTuber asks you to do and click that subscribe button so that way you'll be notified when my next scale video is up. And I've also been a part of of a uh, violin tutor pro for the past several months and i'll have information about that in the description so that way you can join our little community